how has Tariq Al-Qadri impacted me? Nothing has been the same, and I'm not just saying that, since he died. When I was hired in August of 2018, he flew from Dallas to come see me. Who was this person? Who was this hire? When he was introduced to me, I didn't know who I was being introduced to, but he had this smile on his face that I'll never forget. And I was really taken aback that the chair of the board of the organization that I had just joined flew all the way from Dallas to meet me. That day we connected for quite some time um, and every day after that, Thotik became a figure in my life. He aligned with me in a way that uh, made me see aspects of myself that I wasn't always paying attention to. As I looked up to him, he always said shoulder to shoulder, you're not looking up to me, you're in this with me and we are going to make our biggest difference yet. He partnered with me, um, he brought me in, he allowed me to speak truth. Uh, he never cut me down, he never cut anyone down. And I started to see how he was leading um, everyone around him. There was not one person that you could meet that did not love Thotik. Thotik was the person you could call in the middle of the night or early in the morning if there was a crisis. He was always approachable and always there. He, for me, was like the heir of the prophet. You know, there, there are many hadiths that we learn as children. If your neighbor is hungry, make sure you, that your neighbor eats. Um, don't leave that person hungry. Thotik didn't leave anyone hungry. You, he was that person. He ensured that everyone around him was taken care of um, before he took care of himself. He had an autoimmune disease that he was pretty open about and he would have to take blood transfusions and he would have to go to have hospital visits. But that didn't stop him from wanting to make the world a better place. That didn't stop him from making sure that the mission of MLFA was rising. That didn't stop him from calling me before he went to the hospital and calling me after he came out of the hospital. Even if he wasn't well, he was present. Um, so not having his voice or not having that person to reach out to uh, was definitely a void that I felt uh, after the passing of Thotik. Thotik and his leadership, um, he was dedicated. You know, he was so, so, so dedicated. Um, despite his illness, despite hospital visits, despite the crisis in Yemen, despite being a father of six, despite being a husband, he was dedicated and he was present. He was a loving leader. He was a caring leader. Um, and he was a visionary leader. He, I think what connected him and I was his sincere desire to leave an imprint um, on earth. I had that in me and he has, he had that in him. And uh, that's how he led, from his heart, light on his feet, always dancing, always making jokes, but really heavy and deep in his commitment to making the world a better place and wanting good for everyone.